one thing about the Holy Spirit is he is not going to follow rules of man. He is not going to follow other people's principalities. He is not going to follow other people's thoughts, beliefs. God knows what he wants for your life. God knows what he's about to do in your life. And when you are set apart, you have to remember something. When you are set apart, oftentimes your path is going to be so different from a lot of other people's. And everyone's path is different in general because no one's life is the same, right? But when you are set apart, there may be a group of people that believes one thing and that's something they have in similarity. But when it comes to your path, it is so unique and so different to the point where you will hear no's your whole life. But everywhere you hear no, God is going to say yes. Because God has a different plan for you. And that's the thing. We got to be careful with people's projections, people's thoughts. There's people out there who are battling stagnation, who are battling religious spirit, who are battling, you know, um, oppression, who are battling, you know, scarcity, scarcity mindset, who are battling a lot of strongholds. The thing is, some of them may not even know they're battling this stuff. Some of them may just think it's normal. Oh, I'm not successful at this or I can't do this. Then this is because I'm not supposed to do it. That may be their mentality. Not realizing that they're battling a whole spirit. But because they are not knowledgeable in that, they would dismiss it. A lot of people are oblivious to the fact that warfare even exists. And because of that, you know, they have a specific belief. So because of the specific belief, it's like they sit and they dwell and allow these setbacks to continue holding them back, not realizing that this is something generational or this is something that's being done. And what happens is they end up projecting all their no's on other people who are actually fighting this stuff, who are actually beating the odds. And then there's people who understand these things who are battling it, but they're healing from it and they have left it behind. And the very people that are still battling with these same things, they will tell you, no, no, you can't do that. No, you shouldn't do that. No, I don't think you should do that. No, I think God wants you to do this. No, I think God wants you to do that. Look how much times the Pharisees told Jesus no in, in the book of Mark. And every time the Pharisees told Jesus no, he said yes. And guess what he did? Everything that he did was positive. And even though these people, it's not that they didn't know that he was capable of healing people on the Sabbath. It's not that they didn't know he was capable. They knew he was going to be able to heal people. And you remember something. They were even looking. They were looking and waiting for him to do something just so they can say something projection you see that just so they can say something because they so badly did not like him and they so badly wanted their nose to be right right and jesus ended up ended up proving them wrong right and he also proved why it, it was a yes Another thing that God showed me in Mark was, remember, when he explained, because he didn't have to explain anything to the Pharisees. You get what I'm saying? Why waste your time explaining things to people who are purposely trying to make you out to look bad, who are purposely trying to put you down? They don't deserve your explanation. This is why when he responded to them, he often just used you know, um, parables. You see what I'm saying? He spoke in parables and gave analogies when he spoke to them. But when he went away and went with his group of disciples, he went into full explanation so the, for them to understand. Because he knew they didn't, it's like he didn't feel like it was, he had to explain himself to them. If He didn't feel like it was important to explain himself to them because no matter how much he explained himself to them, they're going to all say no, regardless. 
because remember he already read their thoughts <laughs> he already knew what they were thinking so regardless of explaining himself it would not have mattered because their intention was to make him look bad their intention was to try to put him down regardless that's what was coming from their heart so some people this is why you don't even have to explain yourself to some people they don't even deserve an explanation you see what i'm saying they don't if god told you yes stick with the yes and do what he told you to do despite how people feel about it despite what they say about it because it's not them you got to answer to it's god you got to answer to it's your life it's your purpose it's your path not theirs when you are set apart god is going to ensure that you hear him you understand him you feel him god is going to ensure that you are aware of his communication to you because when you are set apart there are specific instructions that you have to follow you may walk on the same path for a little bit with some people but your path is always going to be unique because God has different standards for you. God has a different plan for you. He has a plan for everybody. But just like the, out of the 12, just like many are called and few are chosen. And just like out of the 12 disciples, three were, three were chosen out of the 12. It's that same concept. Remember that if your instructions and everybody else's instructions are supposed to be the exact same. Everybody would have been set apart. But there's a reason why God said in Matthew many are called but only few are chosen so if everybody was supposed to follow the exact same instructions there wouldn't be any that's set apart you get it so where you're, where you're hearing no God may tell you yes but you have to be careful not to listen to the outside noises of what everybody else is saying even if you don't understand why god told you yes because god's yes will override anyone's no you get what i'm saying and you have to remember something god knows why he's telling you yes because he can see the bigger picture he's planning out the bigger picture for you you may not see it and for sure others may not see it you get what i'm saying and some people they may see it and that's why they're telling you no. You see? Just listen to God's voice. Before I was able to actually hear God audibly, I was able to feel him. And how I knew it was him, at the time I didn't know it was him. But every time I felt the feeling, I would move and, and react on that feeling. I never ignored it. You know, and now at the time I didn't know it was God that would talk to me this way because I wasn't I didn't have the I had the gift to hear but it wasn't activated as yet so I wasn't able to hear in the spiritual realm or anything but around the time when I was about to, when God was leading me towards that gift something bad happened for me to actually start hearing <laughs> it's not funny but I laugh at it now in a way that's how I know I'm healed but before I even was led to that I always would have this feeling and God would always nudge me. The nudge would be so persistent to the point where you'll just know because the way how God would nudge your spirit, it's one of those things where you know it's not your thoughts. It's not like you're thinking about something and your your, your emotions are responding based on what you just thought about. No, when God nudges you, it's like it will come out of the blue where you're not even thinking about nothing to be cautious of or to be careful of, but boom, all of a sudden, whoa. I feel like I have to do this. And I don't know why I feel like I have to do this, but I'm going to act on it. Because it's the nudge is so crazy heavy to the point where you can't ignore it. That's when you know God is speaking to you. If you can't hear him as yet. Listen to what God needs you to do. Focus on his instructions for your life. Not his instructions for that person's life. Not his instructions for that person's life. Focus on his instructions for you, specifically your life. Because you have a purpose you have a calling and when you're focused on everybody else what everybody else is doing how else are you going to focus on your own calling and not only that but it's a distraction it's a distraction oftentimes people will try to confide 
in human beings because they're not sure as to where they're heading. So they will look at someone else's life as an example to give them that confirmation, okay, this is where I need to go. And that's fine. God will use people as references. He does it all the time. But you also have to be careful that you're not putting all your trust in man and that, you know, if God does use someone's life as a reference, it's just a confirmation as to what he already showed you. You see that? It's not you choosing to mimic every footstep of someone, but God has not confirmed it to you. It's, okay, this is confirmation because God has already shown me this. So it will make a lot more sense to you because God has already revealed it to you. Also, you have to be careful that you are not putting so much of your trust in someone to the point where they determine the outcomes of your life. You get what I'm saying? They determine the outcome of your life. What I mean by that is they have the say so as to where you're going to be, who you're going to be with, what you're going to be doing. And a lot of times they may not directly tell you that, but it's it's something that they do in a manipulative type of way because they know that you are so badly need someone to confide in or you so badly need someone to help you to the point where now they're manipulating every single thing of your life and you're going further and further and further and further away than where, from where God needs you to actually be, right? So when someone tells you no, remember, it's not the end all. If God told you yes, someone's no shouldn't really matter. It shouldn't at all because you're going to beat the odds. You're also going to beat the statistics, that's why you're set apart. There's no statistics when it comes to God's chosen ones. <laughs> we beat all statistics. Okay? I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.